Tonight, a neighborhood is evacuated hours after an explosion that killed a child. She has just been identified as 12 year old Linda Rogers. This is what's left of the home in Northwest Dallas. It is tragic. Four of her family members still in the hospital tonight. Firefighters cleared out everyone in a four mile radius, including an elementary school. More than 700 students at Foster Elementary got on buses and headed to nearby campuses for the day. Cary Middle School and Thomas Jefferson High School. Now crews are desperately trying to figure out what happened. Just two days ago, a fire broke out at a home that shares the same backyard alley and the same gas line. Then Thursday, another fire just a few doors down. A man says his oven exploded on him. Investigative reporter Tanya Iser is live in the newsroom with the questions Atmos will be forced to answer, Tanya. Well, Cynthia Atmos is going to have to explain why this happened, if these three incidents are connected in some way, and is this the result of a faulty device that has been the subject of our reporting for years? 51, we're transmitting a box on this location. Oh, we got this call at about 6.30 this morning. Port of uh, explosion. Uh, 3500 block of Espanola Drive. Neighbors in northwest Dallas woke up to tragedy evacuated from their homes, a house collapsing from a gas explosion. There was a, a quick house explosion. An explosion so violent it blew the siding off the house. A 12 year old is dead, four others injured. Well, there have been two other similar incidents that have taken place over the last two days. The three incidents, all within a few houses of each other, are just the latest possibly involving an Atmos gas line. An Atmos energy spokeswoman says today in a statement, that it is too soon to tell what caused this incident. Records obtained by News 8 show there have been at least seven other gas leaks within a block since 2010. Two of the leaks were the result of faulty pipe fittings that became a focus of a WFA investigation that began in 2007. Faulty fittings known as compression couplings were often to blame for a series of home explosions. The couplings would separate in shifting North Texas soils. Regulators at the Texas Railroad Commission rewrote the rules and vowed to fix the problem, but the explosions continued. In 2015, officials said a compression coupling was to blame for a southeast Dallas house explosion that injured two. Just all of the debris blasted out this way. In 2016, a Lakewood family narrowly escaped injury after a natural gas explosion in their kitchen. Atmos would not say if it involved faulty compression couplings. I mean, what does it take? Another badly burned seven-year-old or another child killed? another woman burned from head to toe. I mean, when is Atmos going to really step in and fix the problem? Today in Northwest Dallas, investigators are digging and sifting through the rubble to figure out what did this Friday morning. Tanya Iser, Channel 8 News.